it's a psychological um, game that I play with myself to, uh, that didn't sound too right, did it? Play with myself. Howdy, today is uh, Sunday, September 26th. I'm outside the LA Fitness here, about to go in. And just uh, Today's just a cardio day, just doing conditioning. So that's gonna be uh, probably some, uh, what you might call it, Elliptical, elliptical, and uh, maybe some stair stepper. I'm gonna probably split the uh, split the hour up. I'm gonna do an hour of cardio, hour, hour and one minute. I know that sounds funny. People are like, well, what's up with the 61 minutes? Why don't you just do an hour, just do 60 minutes uh, flat? Well, I play with numbers. You know, I play these little mind games with myself just to just make it interesting, mix it up. You know, a lot of times I'll do 33 minutes of cardio. I won't do 30. Why? What's the significance of 33? Well, I'm not a holy roller or anything, but uh, Christ, you know, was 33 when he was crucified. So I, I just play with that number, 33, just in honor of Christ. Uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, instead of an hour, uh, I know it's 61 minutes, but I think of one hour and one minute. I always have in my mind when I say that 101, which is the sign of angels. So I guess it's kind of a spiritual uh, type of connection that I have with doing cardio and to create that incentive for me to, to have something to shoot for. A lot of times, uh, you know, if it's my dad's birthday, uh, my dad passed, he was 60 years old, so I'll do 60 minutes of cardio, or, or I'll do 61, I'll do another hour and one minute of cardio. My mom was 39 when she passed, very young. They were both very young, my parents, when they passed, but 39, whew, you know, that's super young. Uh, I'll do 39 minutes on her birthday, which is July 4th. Uh, also, uh, and if I feel like, man, 39 is just too easy, I'll do an hour and 39 minutes of cardio, you know, just to, to or, or an hour and 33 minutes uh, of cardio on Christmas Day. You know, again, that's Jesus's birthday, right? Uh, apparently. So with all that being said, I play with numbers. And today I'm just going to go in there and just do a straight up hour and one minute. That's the intent. That's usually when I set an intention, I usually reach it nine times out of ten actually nine point nine times out of ten unless something happens where I I just you know feel like I need to stop a little early or I feel like I'm running myself down or something comes up and I got to get out of the gym all of a sudden but it happens very very rarely but uh, anyway that's what I'm here to do today is just doing some some cardio um, conditioning I'll hit the sauna afterwards do uh, you know I try to again play with numbers there it's usually 17 to 21 minute range and I usually make a rule of myself where once I step in there I don't step back out until I'm finished I don't take a little water break I don't try to get some you know cool air I, I suffer I torture myself in there uh, it's kind of a mental discipline you know for myself when I play with numbers and especially during the conditioning days uh, it's, it's more of a discipline uh, more of a mental or spiritual uh, workout than physical you know of course you're burning calories you're you're making a physiological benefit but for me it's a it's a spiritual uh, heightened uh, enlightenment if that if that makes sense but anyway uh, so yeah I'm here about to do some cardio beautiful day uh, here in Dallas Texas it's like uh, upper 80s no humidity or very little humidity which is rare lately it's been it's been pretty warm still lately though even though we're in late september but uh about to uh get in there get this done and ironically enough i do have i had so last night on saturdays are my what i call my treat days uh people call it your cheat day i call it my treat day uh because you know i look at it like hey it's a treat you reward yourself once a week to have whatever you want to eat as far as a meal you know i try to stay clean and and stay with my diet you know consistently throughout the week and even on the weekends but on the week on saturday night usually is my treat i call it a treat window it really it's a 24-hour period instead of getting up on saturday morning and eating garbage food right you know having like I mean, once in a while I have pancakes, you know, on Saturday morning, uh, you know, waffles, or I'll have, you know, I can just eat what I want, basically anything I want. But instead of starting that like so early on Saturday, I like to like do a fast 
up till Saturday late afternoon and then break the fast and start eating basically whatever I want for a 24 hour window. And that usually bleeds into Sunday. So it's a psychological um, game that I play with myself to, uh, that didn't sound too right, did it? Play with myself? That, let, me, let me retake that. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I play these games again, even with my food, you know, and time, you know, uh, I will, um, you know, okay, back on here again, my phone just cut off abruptly there because my SD card was full and, uh, it switched over to the internal memory. So that's what happened there. But I don't know how much time I have left because even my internal memory is getting filled up. I got to clean up my phone guys. You know how video it takes up and eats up so much storage, uh, storage space. So you got to keep continuously cleaning that out. But anyway, what I'd create for myself is in way of a, a treat day is a really, it's a treat, uh, 24 hour window. And so I started again, late, you know, mid to late afternoon, sometimes even evening, early evening on Saturday, and it bleeds into Sunday. So psychologically, I feel like I'm getting myself, I'm giving myself uh, two treat days for Saturday and Sunday. So it's just a technique I've been using for years that works. And, uh, you know, and there's this place called Blue Mesa on Sundays, they got a amazing brunch man I love pancakes I love waffles I love biscuits and uh, chips and salsa and little desserts that they have there so I want to enjoy my time when I'm at Blue Mesa so that's why I create that just it's a it's a 24-hour window and uh, so anyway with the pizza that I had last night I and I don't know if I mentioned this in my first clip here but uh, if I did well then I would sound really redundant but I don't think I did but I, I had I got these two small thin crust pizzas from Whole Foods. I've got a brand called 365. Uh, I think they just use better ingredients. It's more of an organic approach, I guess. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still carbs and it's, you know, it falls along the same lines of a regular pizza. It's, it's really good. And even with the ingredients that they come with, like in this case, I got a barbecue uh, chicken pizza and I got a uh, supreme pizza but what I do is I like to beef it up man I like to add extra meat to it so I got some extra chicken uh, loaded that up on the barbecue chicken uh, pizza and then for the supreme I got some extra ham uh, salami and pepperoni and then of course I put some black olives on there and after they were cooked I add you know fresh cut tomatoes so I've got two of those small pizzas that I had last night. I ate half of each one, so there's half of each one still waiting to be eaten, and those will fall uh, within that 24-hour window uh, treat window that I created for myself. So as soon as I'm done with this cardio, guess where I'm going? You guessed it. Those pies are going down the hatch, and uh, I'm going to continue and finish off my treat 24-hour window. So anyway. Before this thing cuts out abruptly again, I hope this helps, this insight, maybe for some of you that are, uh, you know, just just sharing this content, sharing this information. Uh, it gives people different insights and different approaches and ways to to uh, go about their their fitness. And they're a big part of that. One of the biggest parts of fitness goals and your fitness life is nutrition. And so try that technique. See if that works for you. I believe that everybody should have a treat window during the week every week just to uh i mean don't get out of control with it in that 24-hour period but you have a couple meals that you really enjoy because it'll appease you uh psychologically and even physically i find you just look and feel better overall in the long run uh it just gives you keeps your sanity when you're you know just if you're after a goal you're maybe you're dieting or you, you've got a fitness goal in mind you want to reach that this just kind of keeps your mind sane, you know, and it helps you enjoy the process. And, you know, it's all about balance, right? You always hear that term, life's about balance. Nothing different with this. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. You guys have an awesome day. Let's start this new week coming up, um, you know, with a bang, man. Let's, let's reach those goals, set those declarations. Let's get after it. And um, until next time, you guys be well. Take care for now.